I'm William McDonough. I'm an architect and co-author of a book called Cradle to Cradle with Dr. Michael Braungard, a German chemist. And our vision for the world 2020 is a world that is cradle to cradle, which means that instead of cradle to grave, where we take, make, and waste things, that we actually have a world that is a celebration of abundance of safe, healthy things instead of a world where we bemoan the limits of, of things and watch us toxify and destroy the planet in the process. As a designer, I simply have uh, uh, one question I use to start my design work, and that is, how do we love all the children of all species for all time? And our goal is very simple. It's a delightfully diverse, safe, healthy, and just world with clean air, water, soil, and power, economically, equitably, ecologically, and elegantly enjoyed, period. So uh, when we take these two things, we, we put them into a design protocol and start designing things that imagine that we're still going to be here in the future. And instead of using things up and throwing them away or toxifying, we put things into continuous cycles that are safe and healthy so that we can share among the 10 billion of us uh, who will be on the planet in this century. So our basic idea is that things are designed to either go back to the biosphere or back to the technosphere. And by that we mean things that are going to be put in landfills or be burned or go into the uh, water, uh, things like textiles and, and foodstuffs and things like that, need to be designed to be totally safe and rebuild our soils and not bioaccumulate toxic substances in the biosphere. Uh, the other partition is what we call technical nutrition. And those are things like computers or cameras or cars and things like that which could be designed to go back to industry forever and not toxify the biosphere. So we call those products of service. And the idea is you want the service of the TV or the computer for a few years, and then you want a new one. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the old ones, even with their toxic substances, uh, were in closed cycles where the companies that made them kept responsibility for them, took them back, disassembled them, put things back together, and never released the toxins into the biosphere. That's what we call technical nutrition in the technical metabolism. We also imagine the reverse logistics systems, the take-back systems that would be part of business planning and, and business uh, activity around the world where all these materials would be seen as valuable in either building soil or, or returning to industry as, uh, as highly evolved technical materials. And so we would put in place the reverse logistics business models as well as the physical infrastructure to get things back.